Joyo, an icon in the Rocket League scene, who arrived in the RLCS scene by shocking the world with a crazy lower bracket run on the Team Queso. But for most of his career, he has been with Moist, who had now signed Team Queso, and with this squad, they had great success. However, announced just before the start of the second split of this year's RLCS, Joyo announced he'd be leaving Moist. Joyo was now looking to better himself on a new team, Oxygen. Oxygen now consists of Joyo, Oski, and Archie. This team has already got a massive handicap as they didn't have the best first split, meaning they did not make it to the first major, and now they have a massive difference in points compared to the top four. Not to mention the French wall stand in their way of breaking it into the top four, and ultimately making it to the world championship. But they have something they didn't have in the first split. They've got Joya, a player who has more than proven himself over the years and has some of the craziest mechanical ability. Oxygen now come into the first open qualifier, having made it out of Swiss going 3-2, and two, which is not the most ideal exit out of Swiss, but along the way they have showed some great promise. And you have to remember this team only just formed and have not been playing long. It should take some time for them to get comfortable and work the kinks out in their gameplay. Their Swiss runs means now in the playoffs they have to play the number one seed in Europe. Kami Corp. Coming into this, of course, everyone had Kami Corp to win, and they already have beat them in Swiss fairly comfortably. But playoffs is a different breed, and Joyo has more to prove here than ever. Every player on this pitch has been connected in some way, as Rise, Joyo, and Vatira was the dream team on Team Queso, and they started their moist journey together. Atto and Oski were teammates on Team Liquid just last season. Even Archie has teamed with Rise for a short period of time last season. So this game has a bunch of grudges going around, and everyone was excited to see it. Now, getting into game one, Kami Corp nearly get a goal right off the start but somehow this doesn't go in and this trend follows for a while but they do eventually put it away but things here aren't looking the best for Oxygen, as Kamina holding most of the pressure and control of the game. This one goal was enough for Kami to hold out and take game one. But just as game two gets started, Oxygen changed the pace of the series and catch Kamina off guard, taking a goal in just 20 seconds. Unfortunately, it doesn't last long as Kamina use another one of their kickoff strats to equalize immediately. The game from here calms down as we see both sides able to hold each other off. Been the demo king for K Corp and feel past perfect. Who's didn't want to commit to it? Joy was playing for the hair. Archie's just eventually Archie finds himself in a nice position where he can get the ball into Joyo, who can lay it right off to Oski, and they can take a lead in the game. This was a nice play for Oxygen and really showed me that this could be a proper functioning team. But it wasn't going to be that easy as Kami do manage to equalize once again. He's gonna fake it, leave you for and we end up in an overtime, and it was a close one. And a hit on Rise. Oh my goodness, Joyo. That oh. is unbelievable. No, he's freestyling. And he's reese from that flick after starting in reverse. Oh and now that went off the bar. But but oxygen, pull through when it matters. And Casey will want to get to him as quickly as possible from here on out. Oski he's target right. man goes back on. But this could be it. it. So Archie finishes it off. Now, tied in the series, people would start to question if this team can really pull off the impossible. And from here, Joyo turns into a demon. Just going for the pace. He's got the As he gets a crazy assisted kick off game three. Kami do manage to equalize, however, with a nice bump play. And they do end up managing to take the lead this time. With this, Kami take game three. And maybe some people will start to think things will go back to what was expected and Kami will win from here. But Oxygen are here to prove themselves and Joyo especially has more motivation to win than ever. Game four would be a close one, however. Yeah, he is, his reaction time is insane. But now it's a once. Oski ran out of boost just as he collected the ball. Archie on his way in. This is where KC have had their longest stretch oh. of dominance. He won. Zero. Then. He did win that 50, but you're, you see how old. Yeah, it's not necessarily the position on the field that Oxygen won't like. For the boost, but it was snagged just before that by Vatira. Oh, Archie, wait a second. He's but Joyo, just as the clock's ticking down, finds himself in a scoring position. Off the ceiling, over oh, the Joyo, he catches Casey out! And that'll do it for this game, with Oxygen once again tying the series. Game 5, things were looking on the up for Oxygen, with Joyo popping off more than ever, showing us the peak of his mechanical ability. Offensive rise, waiting to see what Joyo gives him. But Joyo takes it around! There's the pass! Joyo doing so! He cost him, 
And Archie gets back in the play with two good challenges. Joyo trying to keep it close. Joyo cutting around another one. They've been quite heavy. You need to keep those close, especially to capitalize on the low boost of the opposing team. Joyo, the musty pass, and it's good for Archie. It's time to work with Archie. Sort of the unsung hero on occasion here. Another big 50. He's been the one holding the rotation. Joyo, can you Joyo, read it? He's got that read, of course. He's already got much for a lot of challenges. I'll say that as he crushes through that one as the psycho attempted. Didn't work. And Joyo has got the brace. Now taking this game very comfortably, they found themselves on match point. And this game was a nail biter. The last two games before that, quite a little bit more for help from his teammate. Oski's just waiting for his chance. And the next we know they have. Oh, what heavy first touch from KC. He has been there every single time KC think they've got a little bit of time. Ski back in time. Low boost situation here. Joyo got the mid. Will he be able to help out? Quick flip Reese. Oh, he's actually avoids getting hit, so now he can go look for Oski's car. Oh, and oxygen. Oski there to help out. Oski now off the ceiling. Archie's gone for demos. Right. So now Archie taps it. Back foot. And ultimately ended up in an overtime. But Oxygen. We're about done messing around. They have done it. Beaten the team to beat in Kalmin Corp and solidifying themselves as a top team. Now making it into the top four, they find themselves matched up against the champions of the Copenhagen Major, Gentlemates. Joyo has a chance here to beat his former teammate in Juicy. And to start out this game, you could tell confidence was high as we see Oski score this. A lovely double tap to start out the series. But Gentlemates do regain and catch Oxygen off guard with a demo for a free goal. And as the time ticks down, some scary plays from both sides start to form. The French roster. And oh, it's up the post, surely. Joyo is the last one back. He's up against Seiko, who's got support coming on. Looks a yeah, massive save there by Joyo. In a tough position. It's not over yet, though. It's actually looking for the game winner. Oh my goodness, it's off the keeper, off the cross. But making it into overtime. Oxygen don't want to stay here long. Game one is the S, and what an entertaining game this was. And this level gameplay will only continue into game two. Oxygen find themselves on the back foot here, but it doesn't really matter as they're able to get a quick counter and catch gentlemen is completely off guard. And after a while, we see an out of nowhere dunk by Archie to give Oski a goal. There is no way Juicy saw this one coming. And they are in a beautiful spot to go 2-0 up here in the series. And that they will. What an incredible performance we've seen here, having Gentlemates number so far. And they will force a timeout from the major champions. Game three was a stalemate. Juicy, would love to see that go in, of course. You know, Gentlemates, they, they've got to find some spark here, whether it's Juicy with Goxen and landing each other to kick off game three. Well, Archie will recover, get the pass over to Joyo. A lot of occasions as well, you'll see mistakes like that. It actually ends up being a good thing for the offensive team because the defense wasn't anticipating it. Oh. Juicy, gonna try and put something together up against Oski, gets it past him, gets the demo on us. So good by Juicy because that was a horror show that he was put into. Seiko could do with a little bit of help. It's off the backboard. In goes Oski. How? It's a clear to nothing. It's just straight back into the middle. It does seem to me like Juicy's the only one that's had any real success with the clears. Oski played for the miss. Ends up being correct. Joyo has gone. We end up in an overtime. This is a must win for Gentlemates, but it wouldn't be easy for them. They go again. Seiko looking for the outplay. Can he get the bump on the oxygen? Do look pretty comfortable. Oski with the oh, reset. Wow. Goes low. Is he... Can Gentlemates cross the line? I thought he didn't get anything to say about it. Joyo! Down... But eventually Gentlemates do pull through. Getting the saves when they need to. It's a monstrous 50-50. It's actually looking for the game winner. Oski with a huge save. Seiko's follow-up is on target. It's actually there to finish. Oxygen, however, are not put down by this. And come into game four, Oski decides it's time to show off. Failures when he played for Moist. I think those questions have been answered. Oh, look at this from Oski, by the way. Oh, my goodness. Forget Oxygen can then get another right after. Near post. Archie now doubled, misses. It's into the middle, though, for Joyo. But gentlemen, to fight back. They are just playing survival mode for extended periods here. Juicy with a great 50 middle low chance for Seiko. More times they'll score it the other nine. We found the one situation where they couldn't. Juicy takes the shot. Okay. She can't react in time. Oxygen don't care for Gentlemates attempt and fight back harder. He goes in and out. Oh. Achi, too quick for Seiko. Too smooth oh, for play. Achi. Oh, they've the done demo. it. It's all done. Game four is done. Oxygen are now on match point. Game five had a um interesting start. Oh. What a what call really? here from <laughs> But there is no question that Gentlemates have the ability here to still come back in this series. And they do show this here. 
could loop back around and continue the attack. There's that follow up like it is good. Oh, there's no one left. There's no time left. One more goal for Atachi. When in game five here, they could potentially gain some momentum and take this series to Champions Field. But Oxygen do not fancy that idea, starting game six in their favor. It's gonna follow, trying to catch the ball. That was risky in defense for that 50-50. It had an orange trail indicating that it was someone. Oh, no, look at the Zawski! But Genomates aren't quite done here, getting an answer back in this game. Will it be that easy? No, it won't. Can Archie already read it? Juice is on zero. Harassed by everybody, but that's not what's going on. Nicely, Varent! Oh, couldn't get Joy, was caught on the demo. It's a late flick there, but the chance is still alive. Seiko, he puts it through! Gentlemates have done it. We are going to game seven. And this one just didn't go in Oxygen's favor. It is an unfortunate end for Oxygen, but for a first event together, this was a massive win still. And the top four is still setting them up nicely to make it to the major. I wish them the best of luck during their next qualifiers, and I really hope I don't jinx them with this one. But I think it's fair to say Joyo is well and truly back. But that will be all, and I'll see you in the next one.